Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Ride with Will here. On my last video, I mentioned I will leave this for a separate video since I was not sure how long it was going to take. So, I am on my way to find this single track, or so I thought it was a single track. I must have passed this area like a hundred thousand times since I'm always out here. Only reason I found out about this was this dude just flew out of this trail system and I never. He actually, no, he never saw me coming. It was actually pretty funny. I had to slam on my brakes and everything. If not, definitely would have been a crash. <laughs> Go it. Waiting for one more? No, I'm by myself. Oh, no, it's because I was on the GoPro. <laughs> I could tell he probably wanted a solo ride or something. He didn't want to tag along. It was pretty obvious. So usually when I solo ride and if I see another solo rider, I try to make friends and see if they want to go out and ride together. Usually that's what other dirt bikers do. But it was quite apparent he wanted to solo ride and I just got a vibe from him that he wanted to be left alone. Which, hey, I understand, you know, some people prefer to do things on their own. I'm trying to find this, uh, this single track from what I remember. I saw... That last dude that I saw, the Husqvarna guy, he, uh, uh, I saw him pulling out from there. And I looked in and it looked like a single track. Hopefully I find it or remember where it's at. I believe it was going straight. Let's see. If I remember, it's going up this way. I think so. What's good everybody? So I ended up finding the single track. It's actually called T6102A. Uh, it's voltage and easy. It's here on the right side. Ready to go in and uh, kind of see what it looks like. I don't think I've been this way before. I was actually very excited to go explore this trail system because I was really thinking and really hoping it was going to be single track. But just a few feet in, that is when my disappointment grew and behold, another double track. Oh, maybe it is in a single track. I'm with my KLX 250 still. Uh, that's not much snow over here. Yeah, man, but dude, I am so undecided between a freaking like a TE 150 or a two stroke, uh, uh, you know, 250. The reason I'm eyeing like the TE 150 is because it's, dude, that thing weighs like 200 pounds, man, wet. Well, probably like 210 wet or something like that. Yeah, guys, so I don't know, man. I really like the weight of it. Don't know really, you know, where to go. Like, I mean, yeah, sure, the two stroke, the 250 is like an extra, you know, 30 pounds uh, lighter, but hey. Whatever, it's all good. I don't know where this goes. Definitely rocky. Yeah, I definitely have not been here. Dude, it's a fun little trail, man. It's cool. I mean, it would have been better. It would have been better if it was single track. <laughs> Those little rock sections, pretty cool. Holy shit, man. Wow. Down there does not look easy. I'm gonna go this way. See how it looks. Dude, it's so pretty in Penrose, man. I feel like I'm so lucky to be really close to Penrose. Like the people in Denver and stuff, you know, they live a little far. Yeah, like the people in Denver, it takes like almost like two hours for them to get home and stuff. But I think that's the almost the end of this trail. Nice. I'm gonna go to the end of this trail and uh, kind of see how it is. It's definitely really rocky, but it's definitely not hard. It's good if you want to practice, like, you know, rock, whatever. <laughs> Woo oh, so it's pretty much a loop. Oh, no, no, no. I remember this trail. At least I think I do. <sighs> And that's it guys, it's a short video, but hopefully you guys liked it.